Hey guys, welcome to Make It Dairy Free. I am Larisha. I am Andrew, and today Larisha is going to be trying a whole ton of exotic <laughs> fruits by herself. That is not true. That Get is so back true. Here. No. You know you want to try this little guy right here. I don't here. even know what that is. <laughs> I want no parts of that thing. Andrew will be trying these. Unfortunately. So, um, because there are some people out there who think that we only eat burgers and nacho cheese and stuff, we decided that we are going to do an exotic fruit taste test. I went to three different stores. I found 12 different fruits that we have never tried. I am sure there are some things that are probably staples in some people's houses. Probably, but, yeah. Um, we have never tried any of these. Well, okay, I'm lying slightly. Um, I have tried this, but you don't remember ever trying it. Well, we're vegan and you have pretty much a sea urchin in your head. <laughs> this so is called a rambutan. I, I know I haven't tried it. Um, have you, you haven't, have you tried anything here? Not that I know of it, honestly, some of it looks a little familiar, maybe-ish, but I'm not necessarily sure. Okay, so new to us, especially him. Um, if you have seen any of our other videos, you know Andrew is very picky when it comes to taste and does not hide his face whatsoever. So I have a feeling that some of these, if you know they're kind of tart or kind of just different from what we are used to, then it's gonna get a little interesting. Ready to get into it? Uh, no. Are you nervous? Or is there anything that you like, okay, like looking at these, you're like, absolutely, I think I'm gonna like this. Or absolutely, I don't want to try this. I'm, I'm on that end. <laughs> yeah, like I, I look at all of this and I'm like, yeah, no, I'm good. Yeah. I mean, so what do you want to this, try? this is the thing that looks most familiar to me, but it, it looks like it's a squash version of it in some sense, but I'm we're gonna get to that, I'm assuming this at some point. This is called a donut peach. So anything, so that looks most familiar. What do you absolutely not want to try as you're looking at this? I don't know. All of it. I, I, <laughs> I just said that. All right, let's get into the video. Yeah, I know. So like I grew up with like literally apples and oranges and that was grapes, strawberries. Like that was pretty much the extent of my fruit. Yeah. Um, but I know you living different places, living in Jamaica, that you've probably had things that I haven't had. Possibly. Um, so I just didn't know, like, what... I was still picky back then, too, so... What? Who knows? <laughs> Your mom's like, try this. You're like, no, I look like a sea urchin. I had peanut butter and jelly from, like, first grade <laughs> to 12th grade. <laughs> You're like, and that's the extent. That was All good. right, so I figured, since I have tried this, that we would start here. Okay. Also, probably getting the most crazy-looking thing out of the way yeah. um, for you would probably be best. So I'm gonna hand this to you and tell you what to do with it. Um, so this is called a rambutan. Um, and what you're gonna do- what? Rambutan. Um, I'm probably saying that real country-like. So they're Rambutan. Probably, rambutan. Um, so you cut around this middle part and then you twist it and it should come apart. Cut all the way through? Or no, no, no. is this like, like a shell the, of Yeah, some that's sort. just like the shell. So you just Got like it. go in just a tiny bit. All right. And then you should be able to twist it off. Okay, yeah, I see. All okay. right. So while he's doing this, I wrote some fun facts down and I'm going to talk about them. So uh, how many species of plants do you think there are in the world? Uh, that are edible, obviously. <laughs> like we're eating stuff. Oh, um, no, nah, that wasn't obvious to me. I was about to guess. Like, like every, overall, every yeah. species in the world? Um, let's say 1500. So there's 20,000 species. Wow. Um, that basically, I saw one website said there's 50, so it's somewhere, but most of, most places said 20. Oh, okay. Okay, so now that it's open, it looks kind of like an egg, really, but. I look like the brain of, of the, <laughs> the thing. This is I'm gonna awkward. Cut this, one open. this is weird. Okay, right so um, you should be able to basically like just basically pop that into your mouth now. Oh, I didn't have to go around the whole thing like I did? No, that's what you do. So it looks like this. It comes off into two pieces. This part is now inedible. Um, it should just, you should be able to squeeze it and it pops out. Yes. <laughs> so it looks like a clear melon ball, really, right? Like that's all that it looks like? Yeah. All right, so you can eat this entire part, but there is a seed inside of it. Got it. Okay. This looks like a giant clear or see-through grape or something. Yeah, exactly. Like, so it kinda... And it feels like that too, right? Yeah, well, it, it feels a little 
jellyfish like to me. Okay. <laughs> to me. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. All no, right. I'm not. <laughs> what? Oh, hold on. <laughs> you gotta prepare yourself. For yeah. This. Let me massage it a little bit. Oh first. my god, you're gonna make it warm, and then it's not gonna be good. Yeah, it's okay. I just gotta prep my brain for this. <laughs> Do you guys see this? Uh, ready? Yeah. Go. <laughs> It's good. The kids, so the kids have had this. Yeah. Mm hmm. And they liked it. I it's thought you there. said you put the whole thing in your mouth. No. Well, I, I just took a bite out of it. So we actually tried this when we went to Sprouts when they first opened here. Bite. Oh, it. it's actually really good. Yeah. I don't know the texture. It's like a grape. It's a little bit softer and more jelly-like than a grape, but it's like the grape when you peel off the seed. Did you ever do that when you were a kid? Um, like you peel off yeah, the yeah, grape yeah, seed? Yeah, 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 for sure. Or grape skin, I said seed. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out what's in my mouth. There's like, there's like, I guess, piece of the seed that kind of hangs, um, hangs back on it sometimes. Yeah, yeah, you don't want that. Oh, I swallowed it. Was I not supposed to? I don't think it matters, but I'm saying like it's hard. Oh. Um, so they were like giving samples of when, when you could still get samples in a store, <laughs> can't do that now. Oh yeah. COVID. Um, but when there were still samples in a store, uh, they were giving these out to try, um, when Sprouts first opened. So the girls went with me and we tried these and they liked them. So we ended up buying a package of them, but you never tried them. Cause you're like, Hey, there's sea urchins in my fridge. They, that's what they look like. They, they do. They look like sea urchins. Yeah. All right. So moving on. What's next? What, what am I... So what do you think about this? It's very neutral in taste. Um, yeah, I, I guess. Slight, like it's very slightly sweet. It is slightly sweet. It does remind me of a, a, a grape a bit. Um, yeah. It's very mild in flavor, as you said, but yeah, it's pretty good. I think the annoying thing is, is that, so I, I opened mine all the way up and I got the C down. You probably can't see this very well, but Ultimately, the the skin of the seed is kind of hanging back. And I wonder, to it. like, I literally just picked all this up yesterday. I tried to get stuff that was, you know, what I, I googled everything in the store. People were probably looking at me like I was crazy. Um, I tried to pick very ripe fruit. Yeah. Um, but the rambutan comes in a package, so you can't really pick it. So it. I'm not sure, like, maybe if we let it sit for a few days, that it wouldn't come off. Because I don't remember this happening when we had it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Um, okay, so you pick one. I pick that one. You pick another one. Mm. What about this thing? Okay, that is a passion fruit, which I know that a lot of people are obsessed with passion fruit, but we've never tried it. I was gonna say, this is, seems common. But you've never tried it, right? No. Okay, so passion fruit says that you should, um, you just cut around the outside of it, or basically the same thing you did here. You cut it, you should be able to open the two sides. This is a uh, exotic fruit to us, in a sense. This is probably everywhere. Yeah. All right, so cut around this one. Yeah, or maybe- Cut, cut completely through? I don't, I didn't write for some reason that much down. Cut straight through it. I think that's what I remember. Okay, and then, yep, that's exactly how it should look. And I forgot to get spoons, so huh. let me grab a spoon real quick. Okay. Yeah, okay, so I got spoons. I think you were like showing what it looks like on the inside. I did, yeah, I was smelling it too. Um, oh. I've always wanted oh. to try passion fruit. It smells so good. Yeah, it smells great. It smells like grapefruity. Uh, oh, grapefruits taste gross though. Um, <laughs> no, they don't. Yeah, they do. Okay, so you don't eat any of this white stuff. You eat the yellow part and the seeds on the inside. Is it is it bad? It's reminding me of kind of like caviar or something. Yeah, like, like fish eggs. eggs. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I didn't want to. I didn't want to say it, but it kind of does. So I've heard this is great. In I can eat like a little bit at a time, right? Yeah, I've heard this is great in smoothies, and uh, like desserts and stuff. Yes, I've always wanted to try make stuff with it, but I just haven't gotten it. You will around. now see everything passion fruit on the blog coming soon. <laughs> Ready? Uh-huh. It is very tart and sweet, just like a grapefruit. Yeah. It tastes better than a grapefruit. It does. But the uh, the crunch 
a little unexpected yeah kind of like sound like a like a cockroach or something oh my god you're so extra <laughs> oh my gosh that, that is a, i don't know mm, i like this i'm not really sure right now i think the seeds take getting used to but the flavor is amazing I feel like it's like you can taste all the vitamin C like coming into your body. <laughs> I I think I like it. <laughs> I think. I'm not really sure though. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna try to finish it and hopefully I warm up to it or something. We'll save some so we can let the girls try too. <laughs> okay. I did see I did see that um, some people don't like the seeds and so they'll strain it out and just have the juice. But I'm like, how much are you really getting? Oh yeah, you can't be getting too much out of that. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Like it's it's one of those weird things. Like I I don't know if I like it, but I do feel like I want to keep eating it. Right. <laughs> I get that. Yeah. Okay. Um, so we'll do this since this is the most common uh, thing that we remember. Yeah. Uh, so this is called a donut peach, which is funny because I found this at the Asian market. <laughs> so, really? Yeah. Okay, so it is called a donut peach because if I do this correctly, maybe <laughs> you're supposed to be able to. I was I was wondering what you was doing with it. Like, watch is like not ripe or something. That's why like it's not doing it. Oh come on! I want it to be cool. You're supposed, you try it. You're supposed to be able to push the pit through. Not like that, you not. I'll try on this one. Okay. I was wondering what you was doing now. You, so you're supposed to be able to push the pit, the seed of like just the- Just straight through it kind of? Yeah. This thing extra, I feel like I'm just making it soft. I ain't doing that. They made it look so easy. So you're supposed I to be able right. to push the pit through it and then there's an opening. So it looks like a donut. It looked like a donut before you do that. I mean, it does, but it looked more like a donut. Yeah, this, I, don't, I don't know if this is ripe though, because it's like, mm. if it's supposed to be like a regular peach, this is too too white in the inside right here. No, it's supposed to be white. Oh, okay. You okay? Yeah, I'm just mad because I wanted to look like a donut. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't even get mine off. What the heck? Okay, ready? Yeah. Tastes like a normal peach. That's juicy. It is very juicy. Mmm. Wow, that is incredible. Yeah, but it tastes like a peach, right? It does. A yeah. juicy, very juicy peach. It really does. I'm so mad about the seed part. Whatever. Well, don't touch mine. This is good. Okay. So we tried that. It's a good peach. All right, your turn to pick something. Um, Let's see what we have. What about this thing? Okay, uh, inside of the produce stand, this looks that pretty familiar. was Look called a canapas. Can it said Q U E N E P A S, canapas. Okay. Um, so you are supposed to bite the shell of it and then pull out the fruit, and then there's a seed inside. You're supposed to discard. So this is possibly the only thing that looks somewhat familiar to okay. me. Now it's been a gajillion years since you know I've eaten anything that's been exotic, but um, these look like what Jamaicans would call ginnip. So I'm not necessarily sure, but Let's I think we should probably like, Let's once we pop it open, I'll definitely be able to tell you for sure if, it, if that's what it is because it's starting to it feels like one so it says that this fruit is also called a mama chios a mama um, who it's native to mexico who south, mama you talking about south and central america and the caribbean known also known as mamon a spanish line lime and a up and a lemon chio told you told you yeah, these are these. I, I don't so know you if they. This. Yeah, I don't know if these are good still to me, but you liked these when you were little. Yes, when I was little, these were good. I was, but I'm so much of a texture person now. I don't know. So they look like hard grapes. So they pretty much are, and uh, yeah, once you crack them open. Whoa. Not like that, but once you crack them open, they're like 
pinkish kind of in the inside or whatever. Pinkish, huh? Yeah. That'll Suppose be interesting. It, okay. So you said do it with your teeth. You could do it with your teeth. I just kind of want to. How hard? You see that? Ah, there it is. Oh, it's orange. Uh, yeah, I guess if you want to call it that. But. <laughs> and then, and then it said you just pop that into your mouth, and then there's a seed. A seed in the middle. Okay. Yeah. There's not a whole lot to it. It's no. Like the seed is huge. Oh. Mm -hmm. I'm like, where's the stuff? It's just the outside. Mm. Is it what you remember? Hmm? You're so happy. Yeah, this is like a childhood memory right here. So you do still like it? I guess, yeah. I don't know if I like it more than... It's just like a happy memory. Yeah, it's like the... Nostalgia. You're like, oh, like, my mom. In fact, I'm, I'm gonna get some of these and bring them mom. <laughs> so what would you say for people that have never had this? Like, what would you say it tastes like? I don't know, it's similar to a Rambutan if you had one of those, just uh, the seed is excessively large for no reason. And there's not really much on it. No. But yeah, I don't, I, I, I don't know how to describe that taste to be honest with you. I mean, it's very neutral, but it is sweet. It's not very tart to me. Mm -mm. Um, but yeah, that seed is like almost the entire thing. Yeah, right? you can put it right back in there and be the same exact size almost. Hmm. We need to get a greenhouse and see if we can grow this. Why? Because it would be really cool. <laughs> All okay. right, what's next? Um, let This isn't us... going so bad. You're happy, right? Well, yeah. I mean, okay, so we tried this right Some yeah, of this stuff was good. Some creepy looking, but good. Well, now I'm nervous because, like, what if, like, the next thing's, like, not. Yeah, what is that? Okay, so this is a tamarind. I'm pretty sure this is just like a, a bean pod. <laughs> it looks like a potato that, that just had a very hard time in the soil growing. Yeah, so from my understanding, you cut down the back of it like you would do, like, you're trying to open a, a pea um, pod and try to get the seeds out. So, okay. straight down the back of it. Okay. This is hard. Is it? Yeah. Like, am I, should I put it down? I don't know. Like, I want to be, like, careful with it. But I don't want to cut, like, a seed open or nothing. <laughs> like, yeah, listen to that. Is that supposed to happen like that? Wait, am I reading the wrong thing? Oh, wait. You are supposed, supposed to, just to break it. This. Right, right, right. Yeah, this, that was much easier. I'm... I messed it up. I looked at the wrong thing. Oh, okay. okay what so, is that? Okay, hold on. So you open it up and then there are these stems and you're supposed to pull all of those out. Oh my goodness. <laughs> There's like stuff flying. Okay. This do not look like a fruit. It said it was supposed to be pretty easy. Okay. Oh yeah, look. It just comes like right off. Are those seeds? Yeah, but I think... What do you want me to do with this thing? Okay, so break it off. You, there is a seed inside of it. You're not supposed to eat the seed. Wait, that's what you're supposed to eat, that piece. Oh yeah, 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 I, I, I guess. I don't know. Okay, let me get one. I was just... Pull off this stem thingy. This is what you about to eat, I'm not. Oh, come on. It feels like a date. Yes, it does feel like a date. Just this part though, the rest of it don't feel like a date at all. Okay, I mean, ready? Honestly, it feel like we done. Are you pulling it off the seed? Am I supposed to eat it with the seed on there? Yeah, like you did the, the ginnapas or whatever, ginnap. The, uh, but the ginnap, the, the stuff doesn't come off the seed like that. I could just, cause this I could just eat, right? That's what you're saying? Mm-hmm, eat it. Yeah. I've had this before too. Really? Yeah. Where? What's your mom? <laughs> What's the other name to this? I don't. My hands are sticky now. <laughs> Does this have another name? I had I this know. before, for sure. I remember that flavor. Tamarind names. Ah, my fingers are sticky. Oh, sorry. You want me to get you something to wipe your hands on? Mm -mm. Other names include Emili, 
Tamarin. No. no. Tintiri. I wonder if I type Tamarin name in Jamaican. <laughs> I've had this before. I've tasted it before. I don't. I don't know what it's called though. And if it's called Tamarin, I don't remember it being Tamarin. called Tamarin. No, I'm about to call my mom right now and figure out. I mean, your mom also shops at like very different places, so it's possible she just got it and you just had it. Yeah, maybe, but I don't know. So it's good, right? There's a little bit of sweetness to it. It is similar in texture to a date. It is miserable to take apart. I don't know what you don't mind. Well, that's easy. because you're taking, you're supposed to pop it in your mouth and just like suck off the stuff. Yeah, I don't know about all that. So what do you want to try next? Our hands are no longer sticky. <laughs> yeah. Um, why don't we go something big? Okay. What you want to do that because it's next to you? Why not? All right. So this is called a Santa Claus melon. Santa Claus. Um, and it is called that because it uh, it's picked at the end of the growing season, which is, you know, like September, October-ish. And then if you don't open it, it will last through till Christmas. So it's called oh, a Santa okay. Claus melon or some people call it a Christmas melon. Um, so you cut it down. Wait, cut the other way. Cut down this way. Yeah. My mom's calling me. <laughs> um, I had sent her a picture of the thing asking her what is it called. So she said it's called a tamarind or tamarind. She said tamarind, which is what they what it's called. said it, it's called in Jamaica. Yeah. So, so yeah, so you have yeah, that. I, I didn't remember it being called uh, tam anything, to be honest with you. Yeah. All right, so th you're gonna cut this this way. Yeah, I started cutting the other way because you said melon. It's a bigger, you want the bigger knife? Uh, no, I'm good. Okay. I, th I think this is long enough to fit through. Oh. Okay, so just like any melon, you're gonna cut it down, um, scoop out the seeds, and then you can just pick some of the flesh out to eat it. Why does it matter which way you cut it? If it's... I guess because like the seeds, it's easier if it's elongated. I don't, know. I don't know. I was just wondering if there there was like a a reason behind it kind of thing. I definitely cut this joint crooked in my. <laughs> okay. All right. Is it supposed to be white? Yes. Okay. Um, I got so one here. It looks like this on the inside. I don't. You want to just like cut a piece of it and then we'll try it like that instead of worrying about scooping the seeds out. Okay. I can do that. I'm gonna save these seeds and try to grow them next year. So stay tuned, we'll be having. <laughs> really? Why not? It'll be fun to see if we can grow it here. Okay. All right, is that good? Yeah, and then just, we'll just cut that and then it's not so much. All right. Should I shave off the skin? No, or? just cut it in half and we can just bite it off. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and take the skin off of mine. And just oh my goodness! You do what you gotta do. So it smells like a cucumber. Really? You smell it. You tell me. Let's see. It does smell a little. It smells like a melon, to be honest with you. Like a honeydew. Yeah. And a cucumber mixed together. Oh gosh. Ready? Ready? Jinx. Doesn't really taste like much. Yeah, it tastes like a honeydew and a cucumber to me. I don't like honeydew though, but I like this. Really? I think because honeydew, this is juicier than a honeydew. I'm not a fan. You want mine? But you would eat this, right? No. Really? No, I wouldn't eat it. Hmm. I mean, I, again, I have nothing against it. It's just, it doesn't have a flavor that I would want to keep going. Yeah, I don't, I don't mind this at all though. I like the passion fruit better and I like that right now. Hmm. Yeah, I like this. All right, this is called a lemon drop melon. Which way do I cut it? Same way. Just long, long way? Yeah. Okay. Um, and so, yeah, you just cut it the same way. I thought I had something else to say. And I oh, I was like, okay. Like, yeah, what, what, what are we about to no. embark on here? Yeah, I was curious. Sprouts, uh, This I also got this at Sprouts. Sprouts actually had um, a, sorry, um, had a lot of different types of melon, but I was like, I don't want to try like 12 different types of melons yeah. that I've never had, so. And what uh, kind of melon is this again? Lemon drop. Lemon drop. 
Hmm. And then the state, you just want to cut a piece we off. We have and then... such a mess here right now. Yeah, we do. Here, let me try to clean up a little bit. Um, All right, cut this the same way? Yeah, just cut a slice off. A and piece. Then we can go from there. Cool, cool, cool. It's funny, like I definitely don't feel <laughs> the, the fullness Oh, we've been feeling the it burger. <laughs> for our taste test. Yeah, no, I get that completely. I'm like, okay, I want to do this more. All right, so what's this one smell like? Same thing. Nah, this smells sweeter to me. Does it? Yeah. I don't get that. All it's right. more like a cantaloupe. There's definitely like cantaloupe taste there. Yeah, but something sweeter. else. Yeah. Very crisp. I was going to say like an apple and a cantaloupe hybrid. Yeah. I like it. Do you like it? This is really good. Hmm. So lemon drop melon. I like. That's a good one. All right. What's next? Let's do this. I look like a pepper. So this is a star fruit. Okay. We've never had, I'm gonna wipe this off just a little bit so you have a cleaner space. A little room. Yeah. Okay, so with a star fruit, it says you are supposed to, where is it at on my list? <laughs> okay, cut off the end where you see where it should, should have been a stem. So there. Cut this off? So cut, and it was just like a little, yeah, like that much. Okay. And then you're gonna cut off the ridges on each of the five sides. You can use this like one if you need. down like that. Yes. Kind of thing. Yeah. Okay. It says that it's like hard. It says that it's edible, but it's hard, and so like most people cut it off. Okay. So if you've had it, or this is like common, uh, tell us if we're doing this correctly. Ah. I'm like concentrating. Right. I don't wanna mess it up. I'm excited. I think the when I walked in the door and was, and was washing all of this stuff, the girls were most excited about the star fruit. They're like, "It looks like a star!" What it's about really this cool. end? Leave no. Um, and then you just slice it, lay it this way, and then slice. Okay. Like. And you then, only need two pieces, right? Yeah, and then you just eat it. It says sometimes there are seeds in the pieces, and you should discard those. Um, but otherwise, you just eat it. It's a little sweet, but also a little grassy. But I wonder, like maybe it's just not ripe enough. It said it should be pretty yellow with like some discoloration along the ridges, which I tried, so I tried to get that. Yeah. Um, so I don't know, I wouldn't say that this is my favorite thing. No, not mine's either. Um, it's not bad though. Um, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily get this again. Yeah, especially cause it was like 250. For this? Yeah. Wow, that's crazy. All right, let's let's uh, let's do this guy. Actually, let's do this one. These look like potatoes with eyes on them. Okay, so this is called a cactus pear. Okay. So it literally is like pear shaped with like these little like ridges like a cactus. Uh huh. Um, so with this, you are supposed to um, cut the ends off both sides. Like this? Yeah. Ooh, this thing red like a beet. Yeah, so it comes in green or red, from what I understand. All right, then briefly cut in, wait, wait. I don't know if I cut the end Oh, off. okay. Um, so you're supposed to, just like we did with the um, Rambutan, you're supposed to like slightly cut this off and then you should be able to peel the whole skin off. Is it coming? Hair is like everywhere. <laughs> yeah, like that. Okay, and then peel the skin and then just slice it. It says that the seeds are edible, they are crunchy. Wow, this this is. I never would have thought that that was the color on the inside. Me either. It seems like like this is wasted or something too. It seems like a lot of. A lot of it came off. Yeah. Yeah. 
it, it does look like that. Like it looks like, and again, like maybe it's like the, the ripeness of it or something, but there is a lot still in here that we can get off So later. cut this off? Yeah, slice that. Like it's still coming off, but we can no, get this, that out. This, the seed is out, this, this thing is hard. It's like a mango seed. Oh, maybe, no, it said seeds are edible but crunchy. That's what I wrote down. Huh. Like I, I can't even I can't even go that direction. <laughs> you can't go any direction. Okay, maybe I misunderstood it. Here, just try it. Maybe it's only the seed in here at this point. No, I'll, I'll bite this thing. No, okay, ready? Yeah. Okay, go. Woo! That tastes like a what? It's almost a little melony too, right? I don't huh? know. Huh? Do you get pear? I don't know what I get. There are seeds. There are seeds. And when you bite at the bottom of this, it seems like the like whatever that hard thing was isn't all the way down here. Let me try this. Mmm. Yeah, that's weird. I don't know how you kept straight face there. Uh, yeah, these seeds are not, unless you just swallow it whole. Yeah, they're not like watermelon seeds or anything. These things are, are for real hard. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that. Me, me either. I wouldn't I wouldn't do this one again. Um, okay, so what did we say we wouldn't do again? Just this and- No red potato and no star fruit. Okay, we'll put these together. All right. Oh, I wouldn't do that Santa Claus thing again either, but I know you said you would. Yeah, let's go wash our hands. All right, uh, I think we have. I think we're down to these three things. So let's just start with the one that. What are you doing? I'm just trying to get something more familiar <laughs> in my mouth again. Uh, all right, so this guy is a Korean medi medicine. Where did that come from? Korean, Maybe it is Korean medicine. <laughs> like, what is it? A Korean, Korean medicine. <laughs> Is that what you called it? Korean melon. Okay. It, I I said medicine, but I was like, why did I, am I saying medicine? Oh, all right. Um, what so you, you can literally just the peel of this and the seeds and Go the on. melon. Sorry. Everything is edible. What do you mean? The skin, the seeds, the melon part inside. Everything is edible, so you can just slice it. What is wrong? I don't think I was prepared for it. The inside, I think, tastes really good. The skin, the skin, I don't know if I was prepared for it. Let me try it again. I'm gonna say, this tastes like cantaloupes. Let me try it again. But I'm not gonna eat the skin this time. The skin is tough. Blah. Yeah. Let's get that out. I'm good here. Sheave off some of this. Is that what you're gonna eat? Mm-hmm. Okay. It's very crisp, again, like an apple. All right, so I got me a piece here. Which I really oh. like. Yes. It is amazing. This is good. Wow. This is really good. It tastes like just lot. like a cantaloupe. Yeah. So I found this one at the Asian market as well. What? But and it's like a crisp cantaloupe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, for sure. The texture's the texture's different. Um, you said this was a Korean medicine, right? I said mel. I I accidentally said medicine, but I meant to say melon. Oh yeah. But I said maybe it's medicine in Korea. This is good. Yeah, very crisp cantaloupe. This, like, a, this is another hybrid like that other one. Like the lemon drop. Yeah. Like apples and melons had babies and then we got these. Yep. And we like them. Yeah, we like the babies. All right, let's try this guy. Oh, that didn't sound right. What? We like babies? <laughs> 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 um, so this is a lychee or a lychee. I don't really know. Um, you are supposed to press on the round part and it should break open. 
Well, yeah, I'm a little, I'm a little weary of that. This is because this is like a, a Rambutan thing. Yeah. So like, you're. I'd rather just cut it. <laughs> uh. So it should break open and then you eat the entire clear flesh on the inside. No seed? There's a seed inside. See, oh, okay, so. This mine's good. That part looked funky, so I uh... Huh? Oh, it's like brown part here? I don't know. All right, ready? Ooh, it smells perfumey. Why are you lying? So you just gonna lie? It's like that. That's because um, you trying to get me to eat it. <laughs> Yo, you just gonna lie like that? What is this? Taste it! Why you gotta be so angry? <laughs> so there is a very dark seed on the inside. I'm like, it's very juicy. Um, this is like a little sweet, a little like savory almost. Can you stop playing with it and try it? <laughs> no. No. I don't know that I'm, I'm a fan of it, but. No, it, it tastes so, just like it smelled. So I did, uh, I did see when I was looking up how to cut this that Jamaicans <laughs> call this Chinese guinea. I don't care what it's called. It don't taste good. Not to me. I don't think it's good at all. Y'all know Andrew had to be extra about at least one thing, right? What do you mean? That thing is, 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 you know what? Let me just get something to wipe my hands but off. But I do wonder, not, so if you I'm see this, so if you see this, the skin of this one, there is red here, but there's also like some brownish and it seemed like the ones that, um, I was seeing how to open were all red, like the entire thing. So I wonder, like, maybe if the entire thing was red, it would taste a little different. So maybe we'll try it um, later and see that. Yeah, you, right. you let me know. Last thing. You ain't even get me. Here you go. You ain't get me. These are persimmons. Tomatoes. They're not tomatoes. Why Where aren't did they? I wrote this down. Okay. This ain't no tomato. So this it's is a tomato a... you picked too early. There are two different types of persimmons. This is a fuyu variety. Um, they can be heart or tomato shaped. This is a fu fuyu variety, so it is tomato shaped. Um, you cut off any hard part or green leaves at the top. So you're gonna cut this part out. And then, where did it go? Um, okay, cut off, the, there are no pits in the middle. Pull or cut off the hard part Eat or slice whole. Should be soft and not hard on the outside. This one has a little. Oh, it's yucky. Is that supposed to be like that? No. Okay. So that guy can sit over there. It looks like, I'm assuming that this isn't good. A, a little bit of rot in there. Yeah. And you said, but this guy should be fine, Hopefully this I guess. Guy is Hopefully. Good. Skin is edible, though most people choose not to eat it. I'm gonna be like most people then. Oh yeah, this one looks better. And hang back from that. What else am I supposed to do now? Okay, so it says that you eat it whole or slice it. So slice it, straight down the middle. I mean, do we pull the skin off of it? Kind well, of yeah, thing? Yeah, you would, but if you, you can eat it like, a, like this, if you just slice it, you can just take a bite. It's a little tough. Is it? It says that it should be soft. So maybe it's just not ripe. Okay. I would assume that's what that means. You want me to take the skin off yours? No, I'm okay. I can just bite it. <laughs> okay. You go ahead and do what you gotta do then. Okay, ready? Yep. Okay. Because it said it should be soft, and this is pretty hard, I'm gonna say that it's just not ripe. It's like a tom um, tomato-shaped apple. But the overall taste of it is not bad. 
No, it's not. It's just like a another like a. It's very mild right now, though. Maybe if it's more ripe, it would taste. Yeah. Taste better. All right. So, what are you excited about that you tried that you're like absolutely when we go to the store again, I would like this again. You went to the most American thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nah. To be honest with you, um, I really like the. Um, what, where was it? The passion fruit, I liked. Yeah, so we liked the passion fruit. We I, liked I, rambutan. You I, liked it? I think I liked the passion fruit. I mean, it, it, I would keep eating it. Yeah, we liked the rambutan. We liked the tamarind. Um, weren't sure. Word as up. far as like we both agree, we both agree that the lemon drop melon was great Good. and the Korean joint. Korean melon. Yep. Move all this out. Um, and then the ginnup. Or what? Ginnips. Quinnipaz, whatever else. Every Spanish lime. Like, it was the one that it has like 953 names. Yeah. Um, but yeah, other than that, I think that it was a fun taste test, right? But it it was, uh, and we found some like new things. There's a lot to explore here. Yeah. Oh, so I kind of talked about it in the beginning and then we kind of got like off, like just cutting Isn't stuff. this another so, passion fruit? Yeah. Okay. I'm we actually have four of them. So, um, just some fun facts. So we said that there's 20,000 edible species and <laughs> the reason that species specifically is important is because like bananas is a species, but there's, did you know there's 1600 varieties of bananas? What? There's like two. No. So there's 1600 different types of bananas. So even though we say 20,000 species, that's like thousands and thousands of different types of fruits that we could try. Okay. Yeah. So even though there's so many species, 90% um, of our food that we eat come from just 15 to 20 of those species. So the top three are, do you want to guess one? The top three that we eat? Top three edible species. So not necessarily a fruit or a like just something that we eat. Huh? No, I, I have no idea. Okay, so rice, corn, and wheat. Got it. Are the top three in the world. Um, what is the most popular fruit in the entire world? Banana. Negative. Apple. No. Orange. No. Um, it's because you're not thinking it's a fruit. Tomato? Yeah. A tomato. That like shocked me. A tomato is the most popular fruit in the whole world. I believe that. Tomatoes, I mean, you could use them <laughs> for like everything. Yeah. And then in the U.S., the top fruits are bananas, apples, grapes, strawberries, oranges, watermelons, lemons, avocados, peaches, and blueberries, which I literally think we have every single one of those in our kitchen right now. <laughs> right. So, so I think this is really interesting, right? Like, um, we have the top 10 in our house, but we've never tried these 12 different things. Well, we've each tried, you've figured out that you've tried two of them, so, but 10. Yeah. Um, there was 10 new things, but... The fact that we haven't even begun to touch the surface of like different fruits and vegetables. And I think stuff. it was nice to discover some of this stuff again because I, you know, I forgot all about these things. So yeah. it was really cool to have it again. So now every time I go to the store, these are going to be on the grocery list. <laughs> You're like, stop by that place that had the get up, <laughs> and I want some. No, they're good. I mean, I, I wouldn't go out of my way for them often, but I, I, I do like them. Yeah. Because I, I like fruits a lot that I can incorporate into like other things. I think that part's cool. Like you like crack it. <laughs> oh, I, th I like fruits a lot that I can incorporate into other things like a smoothie or some type of like food. Mm -hmm. Other than that, but like ginnups aren't one of those, like you can't, you can't toss this bad boy into anything. <laughs> you know what I mean? So. No, but these are good to like travel with. Like while you're just like walking around, like throw one in your mouth. Well, to me, yes and no, because you, you're, you're swirling it around your mouth trying to like, like I wouldn't travel with this either. I literally would only do it <laughs> only in my house. Yeah, I guess you're right. Um, and I think something surprised us, right? Like I thought when you opened this cactus pear and I saw the redness, I was like, "Ooh, this is gonna like taste amazing." Like I thought, I guess like I ate with my eyes first. Like it looked pretty. It was gonna taste pretty. Yeah. And then like it didn't. All right, we good? Yeah. I mean, I don't really have. I don't have anything else. I'd like to try more fruits that are exotic yeah you guys have to let us know if you like this know. video and if you did we will 
attempt to find some other fruit. If you have tried any of these, if these are like household staples in your house, um, let us know if we did it correctly. <laughs> oh yeah, no, I'm, I'm. They're like, you did not cut that right. Yeah, someone, somebody's gonna have to let us know. Yeah. Um. So like the video if you haven't already and subscribe to our channel and believe in good. Believe in good. Have a great week, guys. Bye.